Hello everyone, Vintage Problem Guy, happy System Test Saturday. Today, we are doing System Test number 20. Yep, and System Test 20, you guys already know, this is going to be a big one. Yep, and I bet a lot of you guys are going to really love and enjoy this test so much. So, But anyway, let's get started. So, panel, nothing's changed. Last test we did the uh, 90s Mechanical 4 and L 3s. Yep, that, that included the 9219 and the 291 and the 4 and 391 stroke plates. So, yep. So, I have still have two of the devices up, but I did, but I just swap them around, so yeah. But anyway, let's go on with our uh, initiating devices. Right here, I have my 425121. This is still up from the last couple test videos that you guys have seen. I still have the Simplex Ansel, whatever you call this kind of smoke detector, Mac, Mitch Max up or something like this, whatever you call it. And we still have the Simplex 2999754 T bar over here. This, is, this has not changed from the last test. So, but now here comes the fun part: the alarms. Up here we have my Simplex 2901938 on my. Uh, Simplex 4903-9101 stroke plate. Yep, so this is the first notification of pines on the system. And over here, uh, I have my Simplex 4903-9105 stroke plate with my Simplex 2901-93 horn. I mean, no, 93-3, sorry. So now, I always keep saying this is 93, but it's 93 three. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess they're kind of the same thing. It just look different. But they do have the same mechanism and stuff, though. So, yeah. But, yeah, so that is these and these. And I'm going to tell you what. These things are going to sound so nice together. Yeah, I, I bet you're all ready for this. So, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and activate the system. Start off with the 4251-21. If you have epilepsy... Do not watch. Here it goes. Holy noise. All right. All right, so that's reset it. Now we will do, I guess we'll just do the smoke detector because it's high off the ground. All right, activating the smoke detector. Here we goes. Wow, that's so loud, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. Fun fact, I can actually realarm the system, so we can realarm it by pulling down the last pulse station, the Simplex 2999-9754. And maybe while we're at it, maybe we'll, do a, we'll turn the lights off, and maybe we'll go outside real quick, see how loud it is from outside. So anyway, here we goes. Pretty loud from outside. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that is the. This has to be one of the loudest like system tests I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, that is that is quite crazy. Yeah, that's what happens. We got, let's see, you got a 291933 and a 93 over there. What can get worse than this? Trust me. Yep. So, yeah, that is pretty much a pretty loud test. And yes, 
This is the 20-inch test. I bet you all really like how nice these things sound together. So yeah, so next test we are going to be pointing up the 2903. We are going to look at 938, but I'm going to be replacing this strobe plate over here for my 2903 light plate. And then for the as for this device, I'm going to be taking down the 933 and the 4 now 39105 strobe plate. I'm going to be putting up the Space H AP32. Yep, so you guys get to see the Space H AP32 uh, for System Test 21 and the 2903. So, but yeah, so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you all enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next week for the next Fire Alarm Friday. And maybe System Test Saturday, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, that pretty much wraps up for the video. So, have a great day, everyone.